It's one of my long-term goals to visit Toastmasters clubs all over the world. And I recently had the chance to take a first step toward that when I visited a Toastmasters club in the Middle Eastern country of Bahrain. I want to start this video by saying if you are a resident of the Persian Gulf country, Bahrain, or you plan to visit there in the future, definitely check out Bahrain Toastmasters Club because it's an amazing Toastmasters Club and I'm excited to share my experience with you in this video. And make sure you stay until the end of this video because I actually sang at this Toastmasters Club, not just spoke, I sang. And you're not gonna wanna miss seeing that. Just kidding, you probably are gonna wanna miss because it's incredibly embarrassing on my part, but that clip is at the end of the video. Hey everyone, my name is Wade Patterson and my YouTube channel is all about impactful communication as well as Toastmasters, tricks, tips, advice on taking on roles, Basically, I want to help make you a better communicator. So if that is one of your goals or your targets, please consider subscribing to my channel, turn on notifications so you never miss a video. It really helps out my channel every new subscriber I truly appreciate. So let's talk about this experience I had at Bahrain Toastmasters Club. First off, I was there on a trip with my wife and a few friends visiting family members and other friends, and we also happened to be there during the F1 opening weekend, which was an incredible experience. But while I was there, I tracked down different Toastmasters clubs in the country, and the one that stood out to me was Bahrain Toastmasters Club. They meet every Tuesday evening at Fraser Suites, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. as of the time of recording this video. That was their schedule. And the reason this club caught my attention was because they have a really strong presence on social media and they were putting out updated information. I connected with their Instagram, saw that they had an upcoming meeting that explained what the theme of the meeting was going to be, so I knew this would be a great club to attend. So this club was a little bit different in terms of the agenda than what I'm used to at my Kelowna AM Toastmasters club. Our club meets for about an hour and 15 minutes. This was a two hour meeting and it started off with a few formalities and then a fantastic address from the Toastmasters president. Her name is Fatima Al Mahizia and she did an incredible job bringing in the topic of the meeting making the guests feel welcome, and teeing up the rest of the meeting. From there, there were many similar sections, similar roles that I've talked about in other videos on my channel. There was a grammarian who did an introduction, of course the awe counter, the timer, all of those roles, but they actually had a business section as well, which about was about 20 minutes throughout the meeting, and that was something that was unique. We don't have that at our own Toastmasters club. We have an executive club that meets separately. So it was interesting having the business part of the Toastmasters meeting as part of that agenda. And there was another unique thing that was introduced by the master of ceremonies or the Toastmaster of the day, and that was this trivia type contest and anyone who got a question wrong or was on the opposing team of the team that got the question correct had to perform a task. They had to pull out a piece of paper and do whatever the task said. So there was a lot of unique things that I noticed with this Toastmasters Club, but a very solid structure and it was really well done. A little bit of history about the club. It was founded in 2002 by two individuals and one of those individuals is a gentleman named Salman Al-Fardan and he is a, continues to be a regular Toastmaster who attends all of the meetings. He was there at the meeting I attended and I'm going to give you a little glimpse. I chatted to him after the meeting just using my cell phone so the video quality isn't perfect but you'll get to hear a little bit about why Salman and this other individual founded the club and what the club means to him. So let's take a look. Hey everyone, Wade Patterson here. I just attended Bahrain Toastmasters Club meeting with one of the founders here, Salman Al Fartan. He is one of the founders from 2002 this club was founded. Salman, what can you tell me about this Toastmasters Club? Uh, the, our club meets every Tuesday since it is started on 2022. We call it the House of Champions. 
because a lot of champions have graduated from this club. Uh, our club maintains the number of people in it because we accept new members, so we are renewed all the time. We renew our members. And if you look at our existing committee or executive committee, they are all in here. Uh, most of them have spent only a year or a year and a half or two years. And that shows how open the club for all the nationalities, all ages over 18, from different places, from university, from different discipline of work. And we are enjoying it. People are growing here and that are growing other people around. Absolutely, and I can say firsthand from attending one of these meetings, the quality is incredible, not only from the people who have been members for a long time, but new members as well. So if you're in Bahrain, even if you're visiting or if you live here and you're wanting to check out Toastmasters, definitely check out the Bahrain Toastmasters Club. And you are all welcome to join us as guests, as members, we will be entertaining you and give you all the opportunity to speak and to lead. I also had the chance to chat with club president Fatima al Mahizia, as well as VP of Education Lujain Al-Wazan. And here is that conversation. Again, with my selfie video, I had to talk to these individuals because both of them are incredible speakers. They did a great job in the meeting and I wanted to get their perspectives. Hey everyone, Wade Patterson here and I am with Fatima and Lejane of Bahrain Toastmasters Club. I just attended one of their meetings, which was fantastic. Fatima, you're president of the club. Can you tell us a little bit about Bahrain Toastmasters Club? Well, Bahrain Toastmasters started all the way back in 2002 and since that time till today Bahrain Toastmasters kept improving, kept developing. We have been having people that actually started in Bahrain Toastmasters and ended up joining international competence and they actually reached higher levels in their competitions and that's the aim. All of us reach somewhere someday. Awesome. And LaJane, can you talk a little bit about, I know you're VP of Education, but what brought you to this Toastmasters Club and how has it helped you so far? Okay, so it's a funny story. My friend Aisha, who is the VP membership actually, she pushed me um, to join. I was hesitant at first because I was nervous, you know, public speaking is never easy. But I thought it would help me with just life in general because we're always speaking, you know, on, our, on a daily basis. So I just thought, why not come and just just try it so i joined and i realized how how sweet people are here and there's no it's like a judge-free zone you can say whatever whatever do whatever and no one will judge you and people just want you to do the best you can possibly do so it's a very good environment to thrive and to do better so i encourage anyone around the world to join there's clubs everywhere and everywhere i've checked there's one in glasgow london everywhere so mm -hmm. Definitely, it's, it's a really good experience. Yeah, and I can say firsthand from just attending this meeting, it is a fantastic club. So if you're in the Bahrain area, if you're visiting, if you're a resident here, you want to check out Toastmasters, this is the club to check out. Thanks, Thanks Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Overall, I have to say I was blown away by the quality of this club and its members, both longtime members and newer members. Lou Jane, who you just heard from, has only been part of that club for less than a year, and already she's really amping up the club's social media presence, which was how I came across this club in the first place, and some of their initiatives. And as for Fatima, she delivered a speech during the meeting, and she's an incredible speaker. Her vocal variety drew you in and she added all of these really strategic pauses. I'm telling you now she has a bright future in terms of public speaking because her speech was powerful. Many of the club members you could tell were very strong already starting at a very high skill set and I think that's a product of the club and what they promote and the professionalism. Going back to the conversation with Salman, at the meeting I attended, he was the general evaluator. And it was a long general evaluation. Usually at my club in Kelowna, ours is at the very end of the meeting and it's typically three to five minutes. His was much longer, but they built that into the agenda. And it was a masterclass. He didn't use any notes. 
but he knew everything he was going to talk about. He gave such good pieces of feedback, and it's clear that this is an individual who has a lot of experience. He's a DTM, Distinguished Toastmaster. He has a lot of experience with the Toastmasters program, and that's what it shows you over time, is that the longer you surround yourself with Toastmasters and public speakers, this becomes a natural ability and something that is just part of the way you speak. And Salman is a fantastic speaker. I'm not naming all the individuals who were there at that meeting. So many people did an incredible job, but it was an honor to be a part of that. Okay, now for the painful part. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I actually had to sing during this meeting. I sang a rendition of O Canada. And how that happened, the Toastmaster of the day, Aisha Fawad, she had this trivia game set up and the other team got a question right, which meant I had to pick a piece of paper out of the jar and perform the task. And the task was sing your national anthem. And she had, she was very prepared. She had O Canada teed up. She started playing the music. And from start to finish, I had to sing O Canada. And I am a very terrible singer. And unfortunately, somebody got some footage of me singing. And so I'm not going to show you the full song. I'm not going to put you through that pain. But here's a little clip of me singing at the Bahrain Toastmasters Club meeting. Oh, Canada, we stand on fire for the almost underworld. <laughs> oh, Canada, we stand on I'm so sorry you had to sit through and watch that little clip, but you see that I did my best to be a good sport. But overall, the point of this video is to say if you are in the Bahrain area, go check out Bahrain Toastmasters Club. There are other clubs, and I'm sure they do an incredible job as well. This is the one that I happen to attend, and I can only speak about it in particular based on that, but I have nothing but positive things to say. It was an excellent experience. And if this is the first time you have landed on one of my videos, please consider subscribing. A lot of my content is based on Toastmasters and public speaking, trying to help make you a public speaker as I am on this journey with you to also try to become a better public speaker. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I will catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are looking for a little bit of coaching help with your next speech, I am providing one-on-one -on -one evaluations. My contact email is in the video description. Reach out to me and let's discuss what that could look like.